welcome to Draw the Day. I'm Abby and I work as an artist for Cartwheel Arts. Today's activity is called I Am Great Jar and it's all about you. So let's take a look at what art materials you'll need and then we can get creative together. So you will need some magazines, some coloured felt tips, a pen, a pencil, some glitter, some crayons, a pair of scissors, some white paper, A4, and I've got some yellow paper as well, but you can choose coloured paper, uh, a jar, which is empty and clean, some PVA glue, and a little tub just to put your glue in, and also I've got a little stick just to spread the glue with. Okay, so those are your art materials that you need. If you want to pause the video now, you can do. And it also might be a good idea just to put um, a cloth over your table because we're going to be using glitter and glue, so it might get a bit, a bit messy. Okay, so pause the video and then come back. Hi, so this is a jar that I've made beforehand and it says, I am great. And I've decorated it with some magazine cutouts, some glitter, and um, some paper and I've just used felt tips and then on the top some coloured paper so that's what we need the materials for so this is what we're going to be making okay so what we'll do to start off with is think about all the things that we're good at now these things we're going to put inside our jar okay but we're going to do that later um, so the first thing we're going to do is Take a piece of white paper and we're going to make the part that goes over the top that says I am great, so this is to decorate the outside. Okay. So what I've done, just to get a rough idea of how big I want the piece of paper to be, is I take my pen and the paper and I just put it over the top like this and then roughly make a little note there of where I want to cut it. And then fold the paper in half so your edges meet. And then you can see your little, um, your little note there where you're going to cut it. So you're going to slip the scissors in there and just cut it straight across. And then you should have at the end A piece of long paper but we don't need all that because that's going to wrap around there a bit too much so yeah I'm going to do it to about there so decide how how big you want it and then just cut it straight down the middle like that there we go so you can get rid of those so this is going to go on your jar like this and we're going to decorate it next so I took a blue felt tip and wrote on the front, um, I am great with capital letters. So this is celebrating just how great we are. There we go. And then also I thought it might be nice just to put some yellow shading around the edges. Now I'm using felt tips, you can use crayons if you like, um, or coloured pencils. There we go. This is just to make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is stick this onto our jar. So turn it over and get your PVA glue. Now I've put some PVA glue in a little tub because it's a little bit easier um, just to get out. And then you take your glue spreader and your glue and get it as close to the edges as you can. Now, if you've got a cover on your table, then that's great because we really don't want to be getting glue on our table. I haven't, so what I'm going to do is get a plain piece of paper and I'm just going to work on top of that. Okay, so take your jar and gently place your sticker on the top like this and just Pat it down so it's stuck. Make sure that it's stuck. There we go. So it should look like this. Okay. 
And then the next thing we're going to do is take your magazines. Now, I looked through my magazines earlier and I found some really nice cutouts. And um, what I did, I took the scissors and I cut around all of these <coughs> lovely shapes. And I've got a star, a butterfly, a parrot and some flowers. And this is just because I think it makes the jar look, stand out really well, if you can see there. But you can take any images that you like, okay, and just cut them out and then get them all ready to stick onto your jar. So we'll take our jar again and I'm going to take my parrot and again take your glue and just place your glue all the way to the edges if you can because then it's going gonna, it's gonna to really stick down. We don't want the edges to be flipping up. There we go. And then I'm going to pop my parrot at the top. So you can place yours anywhere you like. You might want to decorate the back or the front and just push down. Now this is going to slide like this, but it's okay. Just push, push it down like that. Okay. And then I'm going to add my butterflies. And then if we get glue on the table cover or the piece of paper, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to put my butterflies on this side. Like this. There we go. And then I'm going to take these corner edges. Now these are flowers. And I'm going to put one on either side of my sign. I'm going to put one on this side. There we go. And I'm going to put one on the other side. Now these jars are round and this paper isn't sticking very well so what I did, what I found was really useful is take your glue and just go over the edges and this will dry see through so don't worry about that okay so if it is sticking up just go over it a little bit with your glue like that and then it will really stick down okay you can use your finger or you can use a paintbrush or you can use a glue stick Okay, there we go. And I'm just going to do some on the other side as well because that's just sticking up a little bit. To make sure it's stuck down. There we go. So it's already beginning to look nice and pretty. Oh, my star. Okay, so we'll do the star next, and then that's the last of that. Now, it does get a little bit messy on your fingers. You might want to pause and just wash your hands after this part so everything's not sticking to your hands. I'm going to put my star down there at the bottom. And then again, I'm just going to go over it with a bit of glue just so that it all sticks. And it should stick after a while. You could also use sellotape if um, you don't want to get as messy as me. <laughs> okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like at the moment. I am great jar. So we're decorating the outside and sticking it all down. There we go. Okay. So what we're going to do now is take our glitter, which is the most fun part, I think. And I chose some gold glitter. You can choose whatever whatever colour glitter you want and you don't even have to use glitter if you don't like it. I'm going to take my lid off for now just so that I can hold it around the edges without smudging or without moving these. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take some glue and I'm going to put around the edges a line of glue. And this is so that it goes really shiny and... Um, all the way around the edges. There we go. Bit there. You can put it on the back, you can put it anywhere you like. 
and I'm going to put it down the sides as well and I'm going to go along the bottom. So this is going to give it a really nice border of shiny glitter. There we go. And some more. You might need quite a lot of glue for this actually. So it's covered in glue. Okay, so if you haven't already got um, an A4 sheet of paper, that's got a bit of glue on it, so I'm gonna move that one out of the way and I'm gonna put a fresh one there. So if you haven't already got an A4 sheet of paper, it would be a great idea to get one now. I'm gonna show you a trick what to do with the glitter. Okay, so you've got your A4 sheet of paper down there and we're gonna take our, um, our jar and we're going to take the glitter and tip onto the jar where we want the glitter to go and then as you can see all the glitter that we aren't using is falling to the paper and give it a little tap and it just uh, knocks off all the excess glitter that we're not using okay so I just do it all the way around the edges where you want the glitter and give it a little tap every now and then. I'm going to put some on this edge. There we go. And then around the top. And then around the side. Now this is quite a messy activity, isn't it? My hands are covered in glitter. There we go and around the bottom and then we're done there we go okay so give it a little tap shake off all the excess glitter and then it should look a little something like this nice and shiny and colorful there we go so the good tip here is all the glitter that's on your paper now you can gather together by getting it in the middle like this Hold your pieces of paper together and then gently pick, um, pinch the edges of the paper together and tip your glitter back into the pot and then there's not much waste there. Okay, there we go. So that's the glitter part done, which I think is one of the best parts. Okay, so this is this is finished. So what we're going to do now is do the lid. Now I've put um, some yellow card on mine. So if you do choose a coloured piece of card or paper, then take your lid and put it over the top of your paper. And then with your pencil, we're going to draw around your lid like this. And then put that to one side and take your scissors and cut around your circle now don't worry if um don't worry about seeing the pencil because what we're going to do when we're finished cutting this out is just turn it over so you, you're not going to see that pencil line anyway there we go now you don't have to do a circle you can do any shape you want but i have done a circle there we go and then we're going to turn that over and we're not going to see it anymore so take your lid and your circle and put some glue on the back of it like this lots of glue so it sticks really easily when we put it down there we go and then just place that on top of your lid like this and really push it down now you can leave it like that or you can put a picture on from a magazine or you can draw something you can put your name on it i did a love art on mine so what i'll do is just show you i just took the blue pen and just drew the outside of a love heart really rough and then color it in There we go. 
and then that's all done so then you put your lid on you might want to leave this to dry for a little bit though because it is really sticky and really full of glitter at the moment so there we go that's what it looks like or it should look like when we're finished okay so now we're going to put things inside it so this part of the exercise might be a bit difficult and you might need to get some help from your friends or your family and try and think about all the things that you're good at because we're going to write them down on a bit of paper and put them inside our jar. So if you get some white paper and a pair of scissors. Now I've got some really good scissors and somewhere or there and they cut out this line. It's like um a tooth sharp tooth line and these are the scissors now you don't need to use these but I think it looks really nice uh, once it's cut out this is what it will look like so you can use that or you can use normal scissors okay but we're going to be cutting out little pieces of paper now today would be really great if you could think think of five things that you're good at so these are some of the things that I've thought of so you can, if you get a little bit stuck, you can think, I am grateful for, and think about all the things that you're grateful for. I've chose birds, because I love the birds, and I'm really grateful for the birds. And then um, I am good at, so what are you good at? Are you good at cycling? Are you good at helping someone tidy the house? I'm good at baking. And then people like about me. So what do people like about you? Do they like your laugh? I think people like my smile, so I've put that one. And then if you don't want to do any writing as well, you can always draw little pictures. So I drew the sunshine because I'm really grateful for the sunshine, so that's why I did that. And then also a rainbow as well, so you can take all these things and put them inside. So that's what I'll do. So once I've finished writing them, fold them up and take your jar place them inside so that's that one I am grateful for the birds and then this is a really great exercise so when you um, need to remember what you're good at because sometimes we forget you can go to your jar and pick one out and have a look at what it says and it might just make you smile okay so that's the activity that we've done today I hope you've enjoyed following along uh, with this video and if you did please like and share it uh, with your friends and family because we'd love to see what you created today. So please tag us with um, Cartwheel Arts and Draw the Day in any pictures that you put online or you could also email your pictures to admin at cartwheelarts.org.uk um, and we'll feature them in our Draw the Day online gallery. So that would be really great to see all your work, all your artwork in the gallery, wouldn't it? Okay, excellent. So I'll see you next time. Bye.